up in the bodega, marine laboratory, busy putting together that ocean story. Here each chapter is a different ecosystem filled with specific Pacific organisms. Some are adapted for wave intensity, others prefer some higher density. But to give you the lowdown on each habitat, busting out lyrics for learning, can you handle that? Starting in the rocky inner tidal zone Where all them urchins, snails, and sea stars roam Aggregating anemones, partake in fish And they just trying to complete reproductive missions Some species they be tolerant of crazy desiccation And create a gradient, this thing be called donation It's intense, this wave stress unsurpassed It's why Pistelsia palmiformis has a whole fast Biogenic structure made of coral polyps Reefs are where the fishes and sea snakes frolics Provide a shelter for zoosanthelae That they rent by providing coral with a full belly Who coral so sensitive to their environment Heat and acidity send symbionts to retirement Damselfish cultivate an algae like a mother And we know heat's so cool cause yellow is body color Blades shade in the divers understory Providing refuge for bright zones and Garibaldi Their blades be so fine, they be harvested frequently But grow so fast, they a sustainable fishery Y'all can't even handle this photosynthesizer But they need them artists, else they's an urchin appetizer Afflicted with sunlight block and epibionts But keep it so fly, this will be subtitle giant Call it a swamp, a mangle or a plant assemblage Fence grows to form a continental appendage In tropic latitudes, they an important buffer Trap sediment makes a habitat structure Grows a man, are ecologically vital Providing a nursery to start the life cycle and Trees and shrubs be all you're hailing Cause you know they be living up in all that saline Yo, think you can handle all that salinity? Not if you're a steno hailing like this manatee. Like the inner tidal marsh has got zonation. Salt resistance got plants to be in different locations. The upper marsh got climatic variation. Lower marsh, less evapotranspiration. Differences creating microhabitats inhabited by both birds and crowded crabs. Western California, where the skies are gray, there exists an estuary called Tamales Bay. At the mouth, the mixing of water is strong, and at the head, water stays long. Process being known as tidal excursion, got an impact of salty sea water immersion. At the center, nutrients can aggregate, and oyster beds critters accumulate. In the pelagic sunlight don't come in so far adapted organisms they be used to the dark living up in the oxygen minimum zone life barely exists just like they all alone vertical migration to recover oxygen depth but running the risk of getting caught in a net this jumble squid just trying to hunt for fish climate change made its feeding range less limited In K, weather sea is quite deep. We see hydrothermal vents and methane seeps. High biomass and low diversity. We got chemosynthesis in this deep sea city. And babe, you know, it's just so tragic that all we know of the bath, the pelagic, are the fish there with them teeth like daggers. And the fish for prey with them moves like jagged. They be crunching and munching on whatever they can find. And the biggest food source be a whale's behind. I ain't always had to think of swag that be living, but these marine ecosystems have got me straight tripping. Together we took a journey through the deep blue sea, though much of it still remains a mystery. We've been studying, researching on this coast of the West, Bodega Marine Laboratory, it's the 